Filmmakers have been adapting books into films and television series for decades now. After all, books are a treasure trove of amazing stories with interesting fleshed out characters and wonderful themes encompassing the entire tale. While not always a word for word direct to screen adaptation, sometimes they manage to even improve upon the source material. And other times they condense the story too much and turn it into generic schlock. But there is always hope, especially with streaming services these days able to bring stories into long form with high budget productions in casting great actors in popular character roles. Before we begin, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. At no cost to you, every new sub helps us achieve our goal and keeps us motivated to create more content for you. With that being said, I'm your host, Jamie, and here are six books that should be adapted into series. Number one, The Dark Tower. Stephen King's magnum opus, The Dark Tower, is compromised of seven novels, two short stories, and a series of prequel comics printed by Marvel. And that's not all. As many other King books tie into Midworld, the fictional central dimension the story primarily takes place in. The story sees our main protagonist, Roland Deschain, on the hunt for the Man in Black, a wizard and general evildoer, fleeing across the desert. As Roland catches up to him, more of the land's mystery begins to open up to him, feeding him knowledge of the Dark Tower at the center of all existence. On his quest of obsession to reach the titular Dark Tower, Roland forms a party of sorts, dubbed his Katet, whom he plucks from various realities and times. A great premise for a show if a studio like HBO were to pick this up with a hefty budget and some solid writing. This could turn into a several seasons affair. Casting is also important, but mainly the ability to bring the world within the different books to life. I would honestly like to see the showrunners behind Westworld get on board, as they did a fantastic job bringing Michael Critton's work to splendor. Number 2. Rainbow Six Written by Tom Clancy, the mind behind such great books such as Op Center and the Jack Ryan series, follows the formation of a kind of world threat response team. With several games having spawned from the book, it would be a wild, action-packed ride to see on the big screen. They could even introduce some of the primary characters through Amazon Prime's Jack Ryan series to tie it into a larger story world. With someone like Matthew Vaughn, Paul Greengrass, or John McTiernan behind the camera, this massive 740-page novel could be turned into a three-season smash hit featuring some of the greatest action choreography and intense moments of any summer blockbuster. And after the year we've all had, I could definitely use some explosive, neck-snapping, terrorist-dispatching, gun-slinging adventure. Amazon Prime just recently wrapped up the Jack Ryan series, as well as put out Without Remorse. With Michael B. Jordan in the role of John Kelly slash John Clark, so that universe is already primed and ready to spin off into the Rainbow Six storyline. So here's hoping they see the light of day and decide to pursue it. Number three, Metro 2033. Written by Dmitry Gukovsky. Metro has already seen itself adapted into a video game franchise to major success. Set in a post-apocalyptic world after a nuclear holocaust, it follows survivors who took shelter in the Moscow Metro tunnels. There are several factions of survivors who fight for territory, as well as some evil mutant en entities referred to as the Dark Ones. Now, the author has been trying to get a big-budget Hollywood production off the ground since 2010, and in 2012, MGM picked up the rights. However, after they wanted to Americanize the story and set it in Washington, D.C., rather than Moscow, the author decided to pull out. There is an adaptation in the works for a TNT premiere, but I'm still hoping that we get to see a silver screen adaptation of the novels that stick close to the source material and bring the beloved characters to life. Number four, The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. The story centers around Trish, 
a young girl who gets lost in the woods after wandering off from her brother and mother, who are constantly bickering after the parents' recent divorce. While the cops search the woods for her, she faces many dangers, including starvation, hallucination, and finally, a bear attack. In a spectacular, courageous moment, she fends off the bear and is found by a nearby hunter who brings her back to safety. The film was set to be directed by legendary George A. Romero before his untimely death, and now sits at Sanibel Films waiting for a revival. While it is a short novella, it would still be perfect for a limited run series of four to six episodes, especially on a streamer like Hulu, which often features mystery style miniseries. Number five, At the Mountains of Madness. Written by Eldritch Horror Master H.P. Lovecraft, At the Mountains of Madness is a great way to introduce yourself to the Lovecraftian world. The story sees Dr. William Dyer on an expedition to the Antarctic continent and his subsequent findings of an ancient civilization and the gods who ruled the earth millions of years ago. Told mostly through first-person narration, the film adaptation could easily reproduce some of the more expository moments through journal entries while also giving us the incredible cosmic horror visuals so vividly depicted in the novel. With someone like Jordan Peele or Fede Alvarez at the helm, this could be a monumental entry in horror film history. Although there have been rumors that Guillermo del Toro was interested in bringing this to the big screen, I think, and especially when it concerns cosmic horror style tales, that it would be better as a limited series where they could dive deeper into the lore and really flesh out the world and its characters. Another good director who could tackle this would be Mike Flanagan, especially after seeing such series as Fall of the House of Usher and Black Mass. Number 6. Postmortem, Scarpetta. Written by Patricia Cornwell, a forensic scientist turned true crime novelist, Postmortem and its sequels follows the character of Kay Scarpetta as she works in a lab helping to solve serial murders. Now there was an adaptation of two of the books in a made for you TV deal a few years back, but they didn't even come close to doing the gruesome nature of the books justice. With a solid leading actress and a decent budget behind the production, this could be a perfect series tailored for streaming juggernaut Netflix as a major source of their viewer viewers enjoy crime shows and true crime documentaries. There are several books in the still ongoing franchise to date, so each season could be an exploration of a single book and they'd have seasons worth of content to go through. I want to thank you all for checking out the video. Are there any books out there you'd like to see on the big screen? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to ring that bell icon to stay up to date with our latest releases. You can reach out to us on Twitter at Studios Fat or chat with us on Discord, linked in the description. I've been your host, Jamie. Thanks again and take care.